Welcome to today's session. So today we are looking at question 7 from the 2021 grade 12 mathematics paper 2. So question 7 has got two parts, part A which is on earth geometry, then part B which is on the uh, basically the area and volume. So in this case we're talking about the volume of uh, a coin. So let us start with question A. So let me just try to zoom in a bit so that you're able to lead with me and follow with me. So we focus on question A first. The point, the points P, Q, R, and T are on the surface of the earth as shown in the diagram below. Take pi to be equal to 3.142 and R 3,437 nautical miles. Determine the difference in longitudes between points Q and R. Points Q and R. So in this case, when you look at this one, we know R is here, then you have Q is here. So Q is along the latitude 70 degrees north, then R are 40 degrees south. So in this case, what you know is at the middle somewhere here, we have the equator. And this equator is the zero degrees south or north. So it's just at the zero. So it's at the middle. So what this tells us um, to answer when you're trying to answer question one, for us to move from the equator to reach this latitude, the where Q lies, we have moved 70 degrees from the center here. So this is the angle that we have subtended. So the difference here is 70. So it's like what we have, we have in this case, 70 degrees up and the 40 degrees down from zero. So to find the difference, we just add basically 70 degrees plus 40 degrees, which gives us basically 110 degrees as the difference. So the key points to take away from here is if two points lying on the earth, either on the latitude or longitude, they are either one is on north, the other one is south. What you do is to find the difference, you add those because they are reducing, they are meeting, they are all starting at the, the equator. That's for the latitudes along the longitude. So if you want to find the difference between two longitudes as you are moving along the latitude, if they are all east-east, you subtract the smaller, the one which is close to Greenwich Meridian, which is GMT, you subtract it from the one which is furthest. If again they are on the opposite side, one east, one west, you basically add. Okay, so that's the principle. Let us move to Question number two. Find the length of the circle of latitude 40 degrees south in nautical miles. Nautical miles. So in this case, the length is basically the circumference. Okay? So the circumference. So the area along the circle, outside the circle. So in this case, since it's a complete circle, it's a complete circle, so where we should have used this formula, theta over 360 multiplied by uh, basically 2 pi r, this is for the complete, uh, the equator or in longitude, but it's a latitude, we multiply by cos uh, x, where x is uh, the name of that uh, latitude in degrees. So now, this is uh, theta over 360. If we are being asked to find a, a, a just part of the circumference, so is this angle which is subtending, sub, subtending those two points that are lying on the circumference of its latitude? But in this case, it's a complete circle, so you see, this is 360 over 360, so you see, just one time. Is, so we end up with uh, Basically, so we'll end up just to 2 pi 
R multiplied by cos uh, x, where x is that latitude. So we have 2 multiplied by 3.142, then multiplied by uh, 37, 34, 37, which is the radius in the net comma, then multiplied by cos, uh, this is 40 degrees. Then remember calculators are allowed in paper 2. So when we multiply, we end up with 16,545.11. So now we need to give this to three significant figures. So we have two significant figures. This is the third. So we have 16,500 nautical miles as the circumference of this circle which is the length of the circle of latitude 40 degrees south. Then let us go to the last part. Calculate the distance TR in nautical miles. TR in nautical miles. So this is now the part we are talking about. We use this formula. We we'll get back to this formula. So now this is not 360. So we need to find this angle. You see this angle relative to the center. So this angle basically is given by the difference between this longitude and this longitude. Remember, T lies on uh, the longitude, which is uh, 60 degrees west. Then this is 55 degrees east. So the first thing that we need to do, we need to find the difference between these uh, longitudes. So the difference in this case will, will, will be... 60 degrees west, which is plus the other side of the GMT, then plus 55 degrees east. So this gives us basically uh, 115 degrees. Now this 115 degrees is what is we are going to put here. Remember we've already found this. So what we're going to put there for us to find that distance. So now distance, which is now in this case a TR is equal to 115 degrees over 360 multiplied by now so we've already found this length which is of this entire latitude okay that's why it's given to max because it's a continuation so just get this number here so we are just going to get this number that we found which is is equal to this part because this is one over one then we multiply by this ratio so we have 16,545.111. Uh, so we have multiplied by 16,545.11. Then remember, a calculator is allowed in, in paper 2. So once we multiply that, we are going to get 5,200. 85.2. So we need to write this to three significant figures. So we remain with 5, 2, then this is 9, so 90, 5290 nautical miles as the distance between T and R, which is TR. So basically, this is how you answer question 7a to get that 6 marks. So let us move to question number 7b. So 7b leads, the diagram below shows a cone. The shaded part is the thickness of a cone. The internal volume is 34,650 centimeter cube. Then we have basically the internal base area is 3850 centimeter square. Take pi to be 3.142. Calculate the internal I8 H and the radius R. So the first thing that we need to know is we're going to use two, two things. So we need to find basically first uh the volume, so we know that the volume 
let us start with the area of the circle where the base so the area of the circle is basically equal to uh, pi r square okay that's the first thing then we've been told that the internal base area is basically that so we have we are looking in this case we are looking for r square so from there what we know is in this case r square will equal to so we divide by pi both sides so it means we think area divided by pi then you can find that so what we get is basically r square is equal to so the area is basically 3850 then divide by pi which is basically 3.142 okay 3.142 then when we divide by that we we'll end up with r square is equal to basically um 1225.33 then to find what r is we introduce the square root so we find the square root this side and the square root that so r basically will give us 35.005 which is nothing but 35 so that's r so we've known what r is then let us find height so we know for us to find height we need to know the volume okay because the height is used to find the volume radius is just used to find the area so we already found the radius so let us find the height so the height can be used by finding the volume of the the cone so the volume is given by pi r square multiplied by h then one third of this because of the slanting shape okay so we have two third this is one third then the other one is this third so we have this is one third one third then this is one third which gives us the complete three uh area of, of volume of the entire uh, cylinder where we are cutting this uh cone so given that we know what r is we know what pi is we know what volume is we're looking for h so it's a matter of making h a subject of formula so this is over one we multiply by three so we get three volume is equal to pi r square multiplied by h so we divide by this both sides so we get h is equal to basically three multiplied by volume over pi r square if you know this pi r square it's nothing but the area okay the area so what we get is basically volume multiplied by 3 so which is this is the volume which is 34650 divided by this one then we multiply by a 3 so we are multiplying by this 3 then we divide by the area Okay, which we are given which is three thousand five three thousand eight hundred and fifty three thousand eight hundred and fifty. So again, remember in this case, calculators are allowed. Calculators are allowed. So when we divide this, we we'll end up with basically h is equal to nothing but twenty seven centimeter. Remember, R I found it to be 35 centimeter. So basically, we would have found these two, then we get the four marks. So basically, this is how you solve that part. So let's go to the last part, which says, given that the cone is 0 0.7 centimeter thick, calculate the external volume of the cone. So what we are saying is, what is the volume? outside so we look from outside what the volume is covered covered there by remember the internal you see just this one okay this inside you see the one which is giving us so the external is now including everything including the thickness so what would be the volume from outside so in this case we need to find the new h so the h1 
which is the new one, is given by the H we found plus the thickness, which is 0 0.7, because I to move from here up to the that, and it will include the thickness. So we get basically 27 multiplied by plus 0 0.7. So it gives us 27.7. So what is the radius, the new radius, which is R1 will be the original radius plus 0 0.7, then will give us basically 35 plus 0 0.7, then we get 35.7. So these are the things that we have. So having found that, we can now find the new volume, which is in the new volume. So the new volume is equal to one third multiplied by uh, basically pi r square h. So in this case, we have one third multiplied by 3.142 multiplied multiply by, now we have 37, 35.7 square plus, again we multiply by 27.7. Uh, okay, so remember this is the new radius, the new height. These remains unchanged. So when we multiply there, when you multiply and simplify, remember a calculator is allowed, we we'll end up with basically 36,000, uh, 36,974.399 centimeter cube. But remember, we give to three significant figures as per instruction on the cover page of the exam. So we get 36,000. Okay. So to three significant figures, it reaches here. But it's seven. This is nine. So on seven, we add one on, on, on nine, we get a ten. So this becomes 37, uh, basically, thousand centimeter cube as our answer to question B, Loma numero 2.